high energy ball milling method for the preparation of nanomaterials. This is the most important method which is used in industries to prepare nanomaterials. By using high energy ball milling method, we can easily prepare the fine particles of nanomaterial with homogeneous size distribution. So actually this method comprises the fracturing, grinding, high speed, high speed plastic deformation, cold welding, thermal shock, intimate mixing, etc. So one of the important characteristic of high energy ball milling method is we can subject both dry and wet materials in this method and it is a cost effective method also. If you look at the approaches which are used in high energy ball milling method three important approaches are there. The first one is mechanical alloying. Mechanical alloying or simply we can write it as MA. And the second approach is mechanical milling. Or MM. And the third one is mechanochemical synthesis. Mechanochemical synthesis. That is M, yes. So if we differentiate these three approaches, so what happens in mechanical alloying? Actually, mixtures of powders are milled together in mechanical approach method. And during mechanical approach method, material transfer is also occurred. So, coming to mechanical milling, like mechanical alloying, in mechanical milling, mixtures of powders are milled together. But the only difference is material transfer is not happening here. Material transfer is not occurring within mechanical milling approach. Then the third method or the third approach is mechanochemical synthesis. It is a special type of mechanical alloying approach. It is a special type of mechanical alloying in which chemical reactions between the powders take place. That is, when mixtures of powders are milled together, chemical reactions also, also occur along with the milling process. Okay, coming to the features of this method, this is a cost effective method and uh, if you want to prepare large amount of nanoparticles then this is the most suitable method. So large amount of material, large amount of nanomaterials can be prepared by using this method. 
due to these two features this is the most effective method for the preparation of nanomaterials in industrial scale so this is the most suitable method which is used in industries to prepare nanomaterial if we check other features of this method excellent versatility and scalability are other two important characteristics of this high energy ball milling process so coming to the preparation of some nanomaterials coming under high energy ball milling nanomaterial preparation method one of the important example is preparation of graphene from graphite the next example is preparation of nano scale iron and sodium chloride by the milling of fecl3 ferric chloride and the sodium metal so the nano composite of iron and the sodium chloride can be prepared by the milling process of ferric chloride and the sodium metal so the reaction of this procedure is fecl3 plus 3 na gives 3 na cl plus so this is all about high energy ball milling process co precipitation method the preparation of nano materials this method is actually used for the preparation of magnetic nano particles such as iron oxide so the most common nano particle which is prepared by co precipitation method is iron oxide so this is actually a simple and cost effective and very fast method used for the preparation of nano materials then if you look at the preparation method of iron oxide the method is very simple that is first of all we have to take any chlorides or nitrides of the given metal here we have to prepare iron oxide so we need to take ferric chloride fecl3 chloride chloride of iron that is ferric chloride fecl3 then we have to make it alkaline so to this solution we are going to add sodium hydroxide then a little bit amount of 1 2 4 5 benzene tetracarboxylic acid is added into this mixture and it is shaken well for some time okay, it is stirred well for some time about 10 minutes after that we have to filter the solution now the residue will get in the filter paper is to be dried and uh, when we calcinate this in about 450 degree celsius we'll get iron oxide nanoparticle so this is the co precipitation method of iron oxide second method is combustion method 
This is actually a high temperature, low cost and effective method for the preparation of nanomaterials. So one of an important nanomaterial which is prepared by using combustion method is LiBiO2. Important requirement for a combustion method is fuel. The most commonly used fuel for combustion methods are one is urea and the second one is glycine. If we, if we look at the reaction method of combustion technique, first the precursors used are the nitrates of the metals. So for the preparation of LiBiO2, we have to take lithium nitrate and uh, bismuth nitrate. So first of all, we have to mix these two nitrates in a reacting flask and we have to add suitable amount of fuels, urea and uh, glycine to this reacting mixture. Then we have to heat this mixture about 150 to 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. Then and, uh, we can conduct calcination by increasing the temperature up to 450 degrees Celsius. So we'll easily get LiBiO2 nanomaterials from this procedure. So this is what the method which is used to prepare the nanomaterials of LiBiO2. Actually, two different modes of combustion techniques are there. The first one is self-propagation mode. And the second one is volume combustion synthesis mode. Volume. Combustion synthesis. So, the first one is self-propagation mode. In self-propagation mode, actually, what happens is, the reacting mixture is preheated by using an external source. So, consider this reacting mixture containing a large number of layers. First of all, a layer containing a point of reaction is heated. Then after that, the heat is transferred to the next layers and the next layers are also heated. That is, heat is self-propagated from one layer to another layer and the entire system or the entire cold layers are heated or self-propagates along the reactive mixture and result to the formation of the desired solid product. So that is what happened in self-propagation mode. Then in volume combustion method, the entire reacting mixture is uniformly heated by an external source to ignition temperature. So, in a volume combustion method, the entire reacting mixture is heated uniformly by an external source to its ignition temperature. That is the difference between the self-propagation combustion method and a volume combustion method then hydrothermal method.
actually it is a solution based nanomaterial preparation method so it is a solution based approach and the formation of the nanomaterial occurs in a wide temperature ranging from very low temperature to very high temperature that is ranging from room temperature to very high temperature so normally the temperature elevated above the boiling point of water is elevated above the boiling point of water so hydrothermal method helps to produce the nano materials which are not stable at elevated temperature actually the entire process that is entire hydrothermal process is conducted in steel pressure vessel in steel pressure vessels and these vessels are called uh, autoclaves pressure inside this autoclave is based on the temperature condition and the nature of the material which is the nature of the components which are used in the autoclave so or the pressure inside the autoclave is based on the temperature and the nature of the components which is used for this preparation this method is widely used for the preparation of titanium dioxide nanoparticles the procedure is about 0.5 molar isopropanol solution of titanium dioxide is added into deionized water so 0.5 molar isopropanol solution of titanium dioxide is added into deionized water then this mixture is peptidized with the help of a peptidizer most commonly used a peptidizer in this reaction is tetraalkyl ammonium hydroxide so after peptidization we have to filter this reaction mixture then after that we have to heat the residue we will get from filtration about 240 degrees celsius have to wash this then we have to wash the residue with deionized water and saturated ethanol washed with the deionized water and saturated ethanol and the particle we will get after washing can be dried so the dimension of the dried particle will be in nanometer scale actually the morphology of the solid particle solid di titanium dioxide particle will get after this reaction will entirely depend upon the 
peptides which is we used in this reaction procedure.